Fuck. Up. All right. So CBD. You know, I know that there are municipal aspects to marijuana. I know there are over 300 different chemicals that make up what you would smoke as weed. I know that the good weed is around 13% THC, can go up to 30. And I also know that around these days they now have like 90% vapes of THC, which is, whoa, you're ridiculous. And I also know that I can't smoke weed because it makes me paranoid schizophrenic. So I don't like being wigged out. But I walked in my store the other day. Look at this. And there are, I smelled wheat. Like straight up like, yo, it smells like dope up in here. Well, we were raided for CBD, so I'm kind of like, eh? Um, hey guys. So I go over, and now it's legal. It's completely legal now. Um, CBD's good to go. But I walk over, and this is unique because it wasn't CBD capsules. It wasn't the gummies. It wasn't our protein. CBD. Oh, we got CBD protein and gummies and all that crap. We'll have to check your state. Please call 256-233-0073 and ask for Abby and ask her about the CBD um, and if we can ship to you because I think it's legal in all 50 states as long as it has no THC. Now, this is supposed to have under 3%, which makes it legal in Alabama. And if it's legal in Alabama, it's probably legal everywhere because I know when they raided our store for CBD, it it had no THC. So we were still, and we were, it wasn't illegal, I don't guess. They just took it. They didn't charge me with anything. Um, but this is special sauce, relaxed, 17.2 cannabinoid percent, tympanidine percent, none, uh, Vasia Venturas, Ace Ventura, I guess, um, hemp CBD all natural. So I'm going to do something today that you have never witnessed before. Not that you've never seen anybody smoke weed. I'm sure you probably smoke weed yourself. But I've got this amazing laser, right? Here, just look at it. Ooh, Bob says, don't put my eyes out, don't put my eyes out. Now y'all, this laser, I got off Wish. I don't know if you know about Wish.com, but please God, don't go there. Like, it is worse than crack. You will blow your money on stupid crap you don't need for reasons that you can't explain because it's like $2. Of course, they charge you $2 in shipping. If it's $10, they charge you $10 in shipping, but they don't tell you that and you already want it so bad that you just got... Anyway, so... This laser... Okay. I guess I should do an example. No. I'm going to light this joint that has no THC in it so I should not get high. I'm gonna light a motherfucker with a daggum laser right here, and I'm gonna smoke a little bit of it, and we're gonna see, because I know pretty quick if that boy's gonna make me high or not, and then I'll just shut the thing off and run away like a little girl or something. I'll be scared. So, it smells, this smells like some dank, I mean, look, it, it's rolled perfectly too. Like, how they did that, I don't know. That is amazing. Y'all, this laser though, whoo, watch this shit. I hope I don't get my ceiling on fire. Look at that. Have you ever seen... Smells like weed. Tastes like... Oh, God. Okay. Almost coughed. From my experience, if you cough, the marijuana buzz gets... I could have a contact buzz from you smoking weed, look man, damn weed coming out of my mouth. 
I could have a contact buzz from someone smoking weed like across the room. You don't. All I got to do is smell it, and I start to get a little. Ooh. So, um, okay. I don't feel high, but it's a little some, little, little some. Now, what are the benefits? Oh shit! I swear that smell will just—it does something to me. I don't think I'll be smoking the whole thing, but <laughs> nonetheless, um, this might be about the percentage I made, which is zero is supposed to be. Um, CBD has supposedly the benefits without the high. We used to sit around and smoke blunts in a car if I get what's going on. I stop. Nonetheless, all right, that's probably enough of that shit. Um, it's supposed to have all the benefits like there's uh what is it katie's law or kaylee's law anyway the little girl is having like a hundred seizures a week or something like 50 a day or 100 a day even maybe and um they went before congress and like the dude lays out all the drugs and says look she's taking all this none of it works i have the data that says none of it works the doctors didn't know what to do i gave her cbd no more seizures doc or not dog, but elected officials. What the hell are you going to do? Are you going to put me in jail? Or are you going to let my little girl live without seizures from having this? Now, listen. They say that marijuana is the gateway drug. No. The gateway drug is your ass lying to your children. The gateway drug is filling people full of shit about a drug so they think you're lying about everything if i tell my kids that marijuana is bad but alcohol is okay well they're going to be like but the guy drinking the alcohol slammed into my house and burned it down and the guy that's smoking weed never goes fast enough to do that why is one legal and one not. Huh? So they think you're full of shit about cocaine. Meth and ecstasy. And then you tell them, well, ecstasy is highly addictive, blah, 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 blah. And then they try, they're like, fuck, taking that all the time. Um, that was fun, but not, not, not all the time. You, you can't do that to people and expect them to believe you and think you're having their best interest at heart especially if you've never partaken in these things nonetheless i don't know if it is psychological but the shit definitely has slowed me down i'm not high not high like i would be if i was smoking like some of that but wow I might I think I need a prescription wait no I don't it's like 256-233-0073 that's okay anyway CBD should the full spectrum should be able to not only help with anxieties and seizures but it should help to recalibrate the basically recalibrate your body systems it THC works that way almost unanimously of people but 
CBD's benefits stretch so far in the cannabinoid receptor being activated that I can't even begin to expound on. It's kind of like taking hemp and you know you can make paper out of it, you can make clothing out of it. It would replace like so many different industries that for a long time they said that was the reason it was illegal and then you know they said well no it's because it makes you high and then hemp doesn't make you high but marijuana does which is just a THC content. I know from this guy that told me one time because he said he used to grow weed. Um, he's <laughs> a cool guy. But basically you have a male plant which we always call hemp and then you have a female plant which we called marijuana or weed. That was just the female male. The female always had buds and you would chop all the males out because if the male was allowed to live around the female, then the female buds would fill full of seeds, like as it germinated. So the female had the high THC content and what you would smoke was the bud. Now we knew that you could take the leaves and dry them out and smoke them kind of like that and it wouldn't get you as high, you just had to smoke more to get but I mean that guy told me um, I would never do something illegal and I do not recommend that anyone ever do anything illegal for any reason and uh, just remember I'm just sharing an experience that a guy told me about one time and having an experience right here with you you know what I'm saying like that's some okay shit right there I mean, it's legal call 256-233-0073 if you want to calm down chill out I'm getting hungry. Um, <laughs> you may want to get some of that. Um, just say it. That's not bad at all. Call herbs and more. Um, 256-233-0073. I think I could probably get used to that a little too much. Anyway, neuroids.com. Love y'all. Peace.